on guys johnny on the track back with my final video for 2021 uh, and i'm going to power rank um, what i think are the top 10 drivers in nascar right now um, obviously power rankings always subject to change based on um, a lot of this is based on how they did in 2021 how i think they'll do in 2022 um, but yeah i mean again recency bias also comes into this so who was kind of hot at the end? Um, but so th th these are my rankings. This is what I this is what I think. Um, we're gonna do ten, just the top ten. Um, there are some notable snubs currently that I think. Um, one I think you guys will be shocked about. A couple others um, you might agree, you might disagree. Um, but without further ado, let's get right into it. So first at number ten. I'm going to put Kevin Harvick um, power ranked at number 10. And I'm going to do this because I know he's a champion. Um, I know he's won so many races in his NASCAR career, um, but he didn't win in 2021. He struggled to find speed. And I feel like we heard more about um, his feud with Chase Elliott than kind of the results. Um, and, and a lot of that was because, you know, he, di he didn't get results. Um, so, you know, do I think Kevin Harvick will be back in 2022? Absolutely. Would I bet on him to win one multiple races? Yes, absolutely. Um, but a lot of people bet on him, bet on him to win races this year and he wasn't able to do it. Um, so I'm going to put him at 10 and I, I think this is a good spot for him. Um, you know, without any wins, I, I can't put you in the top five. I, I just can't because, again, this is based on recency bias. If I'm going to tell you, like, the top 10 current, um, you know, or the, the most notable drivers, yeah, I mean, Harvick would be on there. But um, right now, for me, he, he he's number 10. Um, so we'll move to number nine. I'm going to put young and upcoming star for RCR, Tyler Reddick, here at number nine. Um, I think he's a guy – he obviously was hot in the end, had a really good playoffs. Uh, I know he didn't, you know, make it far in the playoffs, but um, in, in terms of like where he finished in the playoff races, he did really well, finished 13th in overall points. Um, that was actually ahead of Alex Bowman, who had four wins. Uh, Tyler Reddick obviously didn't have any wins, um, but he showed his strength all season at the mile and a half. He had speed all season. He was very consistent. Um, so, Again, I think this is this is pretty good for for where Tyler Reddick belongs. Um, he's definitely an up and coming star. I see him winning one, if not multiple races in 2022. I expect him in the playoffs again. Um, and I'm really excited to see his future because I think he is a guy that um, is going to shock a lot of people, sort of like what Ryan Blaney did this year, come in maybe three, four wins um, and compete, compete for a championship. So Tyler Reddick, I put at number nine, let's move to number eight. Uh, I'm going to put William Byron here at number eight. Um, yes. I'm going to put him over Tyler Reddick. He was consistent all season, um, had that like stretch and run of top tens and uh, had a lot of top fives. Um, the, the story for William Byron really is, is can he take that next step? Can, can he be a three headed monster? at Hendrick with a Larson and an Elliott. Um, he had the big win at Miami pretty early after that. Couldn't grab another win. Um, but again, the story is going to be, can he take the next step? I expect him to, I think he, I'm, I'm putting him over Alex Bowman right now. Um, kind of as that third, uh, car in at Hendrick. Um, but Bowman did have a really good season, but for me, William Byron, uh, it's just a, just a little bit better, um, and he's ranked number eight in my power rankings. We'll move to number seven. Um, here I've got Joey Logano. So even in a, a down year where Joey Logano wins on dirt, which I can't imagine he ever would expect um, would have happened, in a down year he finishes eighth in overall points. Um, kind of lacked speed at some tracks, was really fast at other tracks. Um, an interesting year for Logano, but – 
I mean, again, like he's a guy you're not going to count out uh, when it matters most, um, a champion. So it, this to me, um, you know, if you want to argue that he's top five, sure, I can do that. Um, but he's definitely in the top 10, even, even with just the one solo win, Joey Logano um, is a guy that, you know, he, he belongs in, in, in this top 10. Um, to me, he's one, he's one of the most talented guys in the sport. And uh, I'm excited to see kind of him rebound in 2022. Number six, I'm going to put his Penske teammate, Ryan Blaney, ahead of Joey. Um, and, and again, this, this is, this is that recency bias thing, Ryan Blaney. Um, now it's just him and Joey here at Penske. I know Cindric, a lot of us expect him to, to be around for a while. Um, but now it's their team. It's Ryan Blaney and Joey Logano's team. Ryan Blaney had a breakout year. Um, and now Ryan Blaney is a guy that's won, which is crazy. Think about it. he's won on a mile and a half. He's really good at super speedways. He's won there. He's won on a road course. He's also won at Pocono. So he's, he's a versatile guy. Um, this is a guy, I mean, there's not many guys you can put on a list. That's won a road course, super speedway, mile and a half at Pocono. He's only missing a short track win. Um, so Ryan Blaney, I mean, it, most would probably put him top three for current super speedway racers. Um, again, just a, just a really good year. Uh, didn't, didn't get to compete for a championship, but I think in the near future, um, this is a guy that, uh, will be in that final four. So number six, Ryan Blaney, number five, Kyle Busch. Um, he was back. He found his stride again, 14 top fives. I think more than anything this year. And even the year before, um, Kyle Busch has just kind of been unlucky with, you know, mechanical issues and, um, the we took take a look at new hampshire in the rain he slid and that was his day um so he's been unlucky but i mean the pocono win to go on strategy and uh having to save fuel that just shows the kind of driver that kyle bush is um again the 14 top fives kyle bush although he only had two wins um he was definitely back this year and i think he'll build on what he what he did this year in 2022 um, and I expect him to compete for a championship. Um, I, I hope to see him back in that final four to do it, but we'll see. So number four, I've got Chase Elliott, um, two wins, 15 top fives, uh, only behind Hamlin and Larson for the top fives. Um, again, was one of the guys at the end there competing for a championship. Chase Elliott, young superstar, um, now not the reigning champion, but uh, a champion. None, uh, nonetheless, uh, in 2020. So this is a guy, he's a superstar in our sport. Um, I know a lot of people, <laughs> whether they like him or they don't, um, you got to admit this kid is super talented. And he's going to be uh, around for a while. Um, number three, I'm actually going to put Martin Truex Jr. above Chase Elliott. Um, five, you know, in the final point standings and everything, when all was said and done, Martin Truex Jr. finished second. Um, four wins. Basically, all the wins he kind of dominated. Um, and, it, you know, on top of that, right, like Martinsville, I don't know how you're going to bet against Martin Truex Jr. Um, and even Richmond, which he's shown to, um, you know, dominate the, the past couple of years. Martin Truex Jr., um, yeah, yeah, to me, he's number three right now uh, in these power rankings. Even, you know, even, even when I feel like, at, at Gibbs, like he was lacking speed. Sometimes he still found a way to get, uh, to get wins. So we'll take it to number two, Denny Hamlin. Um, the two wins this year, he had the speed all year. He got really hot at the end. Um, 19 top fives, just a, a crazy, uh, good number for Denny Hamlin only behind Larson in top fives. Um, and, and as crazy as the season was for Larson, he only had 20 top fives. So that just shows you how good Denny Hamlin's season actually was. Um, Mr. Consistent, I feel like you can give him that nickname this year because even when he didn't win, um, he was right there to compete. He actually beat Larson in that playoff race, which was an awesome uh, race for the two of them. Um, just hasn't got it done. Just that's, that's, that's what it is right now. Denny just has not been able to get it done for championship. Um, I hope he does because – He's, he's a guy to me that is so deserving to win a championship that has not. Um, but, you know, that's something that comes with this sport. You got to get it done. So let's see if Danny can do it in 2022. And then number one, of course, Kyle Larson, 10 wins. He won the all-star race. 
Um, the current champion, 20 top fives, like I said, 2,581 laps led. Um, right now, I mean, you can't, you basically can't make an argument for anybody else, um, you know, besides like most notable names or something. Um, but if you're going to do power rankings, the, the Kyle Larson has to be number one. I mean, there's no other right choice. Um, he is the guy. And um, we haven't had a repeat champion in over a decade. Um, but to be honest, if I, if, I, if I had to put my money on someone that could do it, I think Kyle Larson is the guy um, to do it. He is number one in my power ranking. Some notable names I left off, um, Brad Kozlowski. And I, I really like Brad Kozlowski. Um, but to me, the only, he only had the one win and it was on a super speedway top that with also the fact that he's now on a new team. So I think it's going to be, uh, he's going to go through some growing pains, but at the same time, um, you really can't count this guy out because he's been around for a while. He's a former champion. Um, uh, and like I said, he, I said, Ryan Blaney is probably in that top three super speedway racers. I think Keselowski, you can make an argument with Hamlin. One of those guys is, is up top that list. Um, so Brad Keselowski, he'd be 11. Um, I would not be upset if you basically put him anywhere from seven on down to 10. Um, but for me, just because this is power rankings, um, subject to change, obviously I'm going to put Keselowski at 11, um, 12, I would put Alex Bowman. Um, I left him off this list, the four wins, but, uh, just wasn't a consistent season. Yeah. He won a lot. Um, but there was a lot of down points this year for Bowman. Um, so, I mean, his season could either, he could have had a really bad season or a really good season. Um, and he kind of was somewhere in the middle, right. Where he was lucky enough to get four wins. Um, but I ended up finishing, I think like 14th in the overall point standings, um, which for a guy that won four races, that's not very good. Um, but I would put probably him right around 12, um, and then I think Christopher Bell is right there too. that 12, 13 spot um, made a lot of strides this year, consistent, almost got two wins. Um, he won early second race this season, Daytona road course. He almost won at New Hampshire too. I expect him. I'm already booking him to win New Hampshire. That's a place where he dominates. Um, I assume he'll be back in the playoffs. Can he make that next stride to, you know, getting that final eight, maybe that final four, who knows? I, I don't know. Um, but I know he's a, he's a young star in this sport, and I think they found a good one uh, in that 20 car for Joe Gibbs Racing. So those three I left out. Again, I know how you could be upset and, and disappointed that I didn't put Keselowski in, um, but let me know. Put it in the comments. Um, tell me what you're thinking, and uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure 2022, um, make sure you're, you're watching our stuff. Uh, I can't thank you guys enough for a great year. Um, so please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.